Hello. On behalf of the association team, I'd like to invite you and your church to be part of a call to prayer this Lent in these months leading up to Easter. As you know, we're in the midst of a very challenging time, but also a significant time. On the one hand, we've been progressively worn down by the continuing impacts of this pandemic, which has brought so much stress and grief and anxiety and, and just the frustration of the restrictions which we continue to have to live under. Our way of life, our, our way of being church has been profoundly disrupted over the past year. We've been forced to change into ways of being that haven't always been easy. Some of us have become very isolated and disconnected. And we know that as we come out of the worst of the pandemic, there will be a accompanying epidemic of mental health issues, of social and economic problems that are awaiting us. So the future is still going to be tough. It's as though we've been through a national experience, a global experience of crucifixion. But on the other hand, we have started 2021 with some hope. Hope that there is a way out of the pandemic and its restrictions. We see the vaccination programme being rolled out. There's greater understanding of how the virus works and how we can counteract it, even as it continues to mutate into fresh strains. And we do hold out hope that the restrictions we're living under will, maybe slowly, but progressively be reduced. That we will once again be able to gather in person as God's people. And a day will come when we can hug, uh, when we can sing when we can be together in closer fellowship. We live in the hope of resurrection. And it currently feels as though we're in a kind of tipping point in this winter spring season where we begin to move away from one way of being that has been forced upon us over the past year and that after Easter we may move towards a new way of being similar to what life was like before coronavirus, but inevitably also still quite different. And together we carry that hope that the things, the good things that we've learnt along the way will positively impact our national life, our communities, and especially our church life, that we will be positively different. To use another analogy, it's as though over the past year and at present we're we're confined into a cocoon or a chrysalis. Now, whether the church after pandemic is going to be as radically different from church before pandemic as a, a butterfly or moth is different from a caterpillar, we don't know. But there will be differences. And there is a heartfelt yearning amongst many in churches that the experience of the past year will lead us to being church in new ways that it will bring greater creativity, adaptability, greater online presence, greater community engagement, that we will be a church that is more wholeheartedly mission focused, more multi-voiced, more every person involved, more diverse, more whole of life than it was before. Now over the past year we've had a lot of time and space when we can divert energy into prayer and listening to God. We have sought God in our own churches and we've sought guidance and we've received much from God through this COVID journey. But as an association team, we feel strongly that, that this time, these months, are particularly crucial in which to take advantage of the opportunities that we still have while we're still in lockdowns, while we're still under restrictions. We maybe have still a bit more space to pray and to seek God afresh. And as maybe we run out of our own energy and get to the end of our own resources, how important it is at this time to seek replenishment from the one who can bring it. To stop relying on self and our own abilities and to put even greater trust 
into God. That this time we will take the opportunity to seek God because this is a time of preparation for the new future. And we've got to be ready for it. And let's be ready for it. That's been the message of Yinka Oya Khan, our Baptist Union president, this year. As an association, you'll be aware as well that we're undergoing significant change this year as John comes towards his retirement and we give thanks for his ministry amongst us. But then we look onwards to a new future with a transitional strategic leader. Please pray around this appointment, but please be praying after the appointment is made that, that this new person will be our God-given uh, in, uh, guide to, to give us impetus into new ways of being church, new ways of relating together, new, more missional focus for the future. About a year ago, at our ministers' conference, we were given, as an association of churches, a prophetic message by Lynn Green that encouraged us to, to trust that God is going to do new and dynamic things within our Baptist family, and that the Northern Baptist Association would be in the forefront of these new and dynamic things. We were challenged to listen attentively, to be bold, and to take risks, and to experiment. Well, we never anticipated at the time that it would take a pandemic to come across upon us to force us to start to do this, but that's what has been happening. But I'm also aware there is so much further yet to go. There's so much more that God desires to do amongst us. There's so much transformation that is yet to take place. We long for more of God's power and transforming work, his life at work amongst us. We need to seek God so that more of this power and life will be in our Baptist churches. What we've also had to learn over this past year is, as church leaders is how to lead in times of uncertainty and unexpected change. The times we're living in require very different skills and qualities than when we are living in a more stable and familiar environment. Many are saying that one of the key needs in these times is leadership which is good at listening to God and discerning what God is saying to us. And churches which are well practised in listening to God and in discerning God's voice. And so now is the time to be growing in these gifts, to be practising these gifts, to be encouraging everyone in our churches to engage with listening and discernment. And to become more confident and familiar with this way of being church. So we invite you to join with us in prayer at this time. We're not suggesting you add lots of extra meetings and make yourselves busier uh, to fulfil this call to prayer. Don't change any of the plans that you've already prayerfully sought to bring about in church life. But please do give energy to seeking God through all that's going on at the moment. Do give energy to make your current church life just more prayer filled and more prayerful. And if you can, give space to listening to God. We need to do that. We need to hear from God at this time. We're so good at making our own noise, filling our lives with busyness and activity. If the past year has taught us anything, it is of the value of slowing down, of giving more space and time to God to speak to us. Finding God in quiet and in solitude. So in practice, what does this mean? Well, four suggestions for how we can go about this. Firstly, to listen, particularly through the season of Lent, from now onwards through to Easter. We hope that individuals, that the ministers, that churches, that leadership teams, that association bodies will give space and time to focus upon listening to God so that we can then get a sense of what God is saying to us as individuals, as churches but also as a family of churches. Now we're not confined just to do that in this period and we know that we've been doing this already over the past year. There's been lots of prayer and seeking 
God going on through the pandemic. It may be that you already have a strong sense of where God is speaking to you and leading you, in which case we'd love to hear what that is. Please do share it with our NBA team. But through this period, we will continue to offer additional webinars and gatherings to help you in that process of discerning and listening. In particular, we have our monthly prayer gatherings. We'll also seek to create some other opportunities and share resources to enable listening together. Secondly, let's test what God is saying. This is a parallel process. It might extend a bit beyond Easter. As we feel God is speaking to us, we do need to test and discern what is of God, what is of us, what is for the wider Baptist family, what is for me as an individual. We need to communicate together. We need to discern what are the really key things, the main things that are coming through most strongly for all of us as we listen to God. What is God saying to us all together so that we might focus in on those few most important things that God has for us? Thirdly, we will then need to plan. In the period after Easter, as we've done the, the listening and the discerning and got a sense, we hope and pray, of what God is saying. Inevitably, that then means we need to respond. So the NBA team will communicate back to all of our churches and leadership teams what has come out of the time of listening. We'll offer suggestions about what this might actually mean for us in practice. How might our so association bodies, how might our churches look different after the pandemic? What areas should we give energy into and where, what should we leave behind? Where does God want to change us? And we hope that for you, for every church, that you'll grow in confidence and conviction of what God is saying to you and where God is leading you, the path that he has for you over the coming months. Because we will be going into a relaunch of church after pandemic. We need God's guidance for this time. Now, we know that each church is in a different context, a different community. We have different gifts and resources as churches, so we don't expect that every one of us will be working in the same direction. Every one of us will have a unique focus, but there will also be some things that we will share in common where we can reinforce together that sense of journeying together, encouraging each other along the road into this future that God has for us. So alongside the planning and after the planning, there is the acting, the putting it into practice. And as we discern and start to plan uh, for the journey out of the pandemic, as an association team, we will seek to resource and support you along this journey. So exactly in practice how you uh, carry out these steps it is for you to decide. Please don't deviate from what God is already calling you to do and to be. You may simply want to engage in this process as you continue your regular ongoing church life. Or you might want to do something specific to respond, to create additional space for listening and discerning. But please do, as you get a feel for what God is saying to you, do feedback to us uh, in our association team. We will share widely on our uh, social media uh, what God is doing. And then we will embark after Easter on starting to respond. After this time when we celebrate the triumph of life over death, light over darkness through Jesus Christ in his death and resurrection for us. So do remember that we in particular gather every first Thursday of the month at 7pm online for an hour of prayer. There are other resources that you can use. What I would recommend is the prayer course put together by Pete Gregg and the 24-7 prayer movement and also the Edify course that Northern Baptist College are currently running. It is halfway through. Uh, we're just talking with the college at the moment as to whether churches can join in at this point or whether the resources uh, that they're putting together through Edify can be made available to you. And that's a course that will help leadership teams to, to grow skills in discerning together what God is saying. So please join with us in this venture that we can come out of this pandemic together with renewed vision, with renewed direction, 
with more God-given energy for all that he wants to do through us. May God be mightily at work amongst us in these days. Let's pray together. God of life and hope, you have transformed this world through the death and the resurrection of your son, Jesus Christ. You are the one who brings life out of death, forgiveness out of our deepest of sins and light in the valley of the shadow of death. As we continue to live through this pandemic, God, may we look afresh to you. May we draw upon your wisdom and direction for the path that you are calling us to follow. May we not shrink back in exhaustion, but be renewed for a new life beyond the lockdowns. God, show us the way, direct our paths, lead us in the light of your presence. May we be quick to listen, to give you space and time to speak to us and to lead us. May we be bold, creative and risk-taking in following you into the new life that you have for us. May your kingdom come, may your will be done in and through our Northern Baptist Association family of churches across our nation and around the globe to the praise and glory of your wonderful name. Amen.